Welcome back to another episode and welcome to Grassy Head. So we're staying here for three nights and we're on powered site 28. This site isn't level. I have the trucks in and they are up to their full potential. So just be wary that the majority of these sites here at Grassy Head aren't level. So I'm gonna go through the sites that I recommend if you're staying here. They are the most level best sites in my opinion, especially if you have a motor home and you don't have much flexibility to level it out. So if you're staying here and you want a powered site, I recommend sites 22 to 25. 50 and 51. They are large level grass sites. 22 to 25, they have a shade cloth and gravel setup, and 50 and 51 are full grass sites. If you're after unpowered, I recommend L to F and S to T. They are the most level, they are large grassy sites, and they're really, really good if you're after an unpowered option. In terms of the park, it's sort of your back to basics, back to nature type of caravan park. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles that most do. It has one amenity block, which is quite dated. Um, and all of the sites, like I said, are unlevel, apart from the sites that I've just mentioned, which are the best sites in my opinion. It's very, very quiet and chill. I'm not sure what it's like in the peak season, but it is a really nice option if you just want to come here, swim and not do much else. So there is direct access to the beach. The beach is fully pet friendly and there is a large headland there. So make sure you go for a look up there. There's a lookout that overlooks the ocean. It's very, very beautiful. It's lovely and clear and it's sort of got like a um, exclusive type of feel to it. So it's not a popular beach. There's not a lot of locals or people um, swimming there. So you pretty much got the whole beach to yourself bar maybe one or two couples, which is really nice. The waves are nothing too hectic. It's more of a bay type feel on a really good day. Um, so yeah, it's really, really beautiful. It's one of the main draw cards coming here. If you've got a four wheel drive and you like taking on the beach, there is a direct four wheel drive beach access. You can jump on directly from the park and go all the way down to Southwest Rocks. So that's a really good option if you're into four wheel driving and driving on the beach. Just make sure you get a permit because fines do apply and there are rangers that get around here regularly apparently checking those. In terms of the location, Grassy Head is 10 minutes south of Scott's Head and about 8 minutes north of Stewart's Point. So we've been going into Stewart's Point for little bits and pieces. Um, we went and had fish and chips at the takeaway shop there which was nice and there's a cafe called Matt's Cafe if you're after some coffee and they also do fresh juices. We're heading into the bowling club there. We're gonna have um, a game of barefoot bowls and apparently the Chinese is really, really nice. Glenda recommended that when we're at Scott's Head. So we're going there tonight to check that out. So yeah, this is a really, really nice park. Like I said, it's back to basic, back to nature. There's no bells and whistles. The sites are really, really large here and it is such a beautiful little quiet spot. So if you're after something really chill, um, right on the beach that's fully pet friendly, highly recommend coming and checking this one out. It's a really nice day.